All right, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna show you guys how to code a real basic Nike monitor. So that way, if uh, a surprise off-white shoe release happens, it will send something to your Discord. So this will, this video will be broken up into probably two or three parts. This part will go over the actual coding of the monitor. The second part will go over something like how to send it, actually send it to your Discord so that you get notifications instead of it all just being in the command prompt. And uh, if I do do a third part, it'll go over proxies. So that way you don't get banned because without proxies, you'll get banned from Nike and you definitely don't want to do that. So start off, we're going to import some modules. So import requests, import um, I'm import um, We'll be using JSON later on, so import JSON. Say from BS4, import beautiful soup. And uh, we'll import threading. And if you have random headers, um, I'll leave a link to that below so that way you can clone the GitHub repository. But if you have random headers, that also comes in handy. All right, like I said, this is real basic. Um, if you know Python, It'll be helpful if you don't you can follow exactly what i do it's not going to be real pretty looking but it gets the job done and it's real basic so just follow along all right so we're going to start off with a function we'll just name it monitor and uh, we're going to say source equals requests dot get and we're going to get the nike launch front page and um, again, if you have random headers, do this. It looks like it's a different person each time. And again, we'll go over proxies and we'll be adding those in here in this line, but we're not gonna go over that now. Um, so this is where we'll start and we'll say, we wanna get the text, say soup equals beautiful soup. And we're going to parse source in LXML. All right, we're gonna create a for loop to grab all the links on this page. It actually only grabs, I think, like the first six or nine links. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but that's all we need, really. So, um, right click, effect, um, and this is what we want to get. We'll get the href, so we will say for um, for hrefs in soup.findall and we want to find all a tags the class underscore equal to as you can see we're finding this a tag which has the href which is what we need and uh, it has a class of this and then we will say uh, href equals hrefs dot get the href attribute. Uh, we could do that a different way, but this should work. And we'll say the links is equal to um, Nike that in there. And does it already have launch? Yes, it does. We can just do nike.com plus href. We'll print out links and make sure to end the function there. And let's run this and see if it grabs all the links. All right, so I don't know why it wasn't printing earlier, but I mean, it's, it's working now. So just copy this down. I don't know why it wasn't working. It was, I don't know. But anyway, uh, just copy what I have here. Hopefully you can see that well. All right, so uh, now we actually want to just, we, we need to save these links in such a way so that way um, we can continuously get the Nike website, have it uh, have a record of the links that were already on the website so that it will only print a new link if, uh, if a new item comes onto the site. So we'll say file name equals We'll say it's uh, Nike links.txt and we'll say with open 
file name in read mode as RF with open file name in append mode definitely want it as append as AF and um, we will go actually go to our the directory that this uh, file is saved in all right so I just created a Nike links.txt file and uh, if you open it up as you can see nothing is in it so this file is saved in the same directory as this uh, as this Python program so that's what you need all right so then what we're going to say is if the URLs so if URL is not in uh, the read file not in RF and we want to say print uh, URL and then else print no new links found all right so let us also go here and say af dot write we will say a new line plus url so that way it puts each url on a new line all right so let's run this the first time through it should print all the links it did and then let's run it again and it should print no new links found um oh yes uh what you want to do is say read equals rf dot read and then change if url not in read save it there we go as you can see it says no new links found because then if we open up uh this text file you can see that all the links that we had found up here printed in here and then it's saying to open the file in read mode then open it in append mode and then have it read the file if the url is not in the read file or is not in this text file then it will print the url and then it will write it to the file if it is in the uh, if the URL already is in the file it will say no new links found all right so now we will say outside of the for loop we'll say time dot sleep have it sleep for however long you want I have my monitor set to 60 seconds and what we can do is come down here and say while through dent that and then we're going to delete all the links in here, save it, just so you can see it run through by itself. As you can see, as there were no links in the file, it then uh, it prints the links and it writes them into the file. And now because it's in a while loop, it will continuously run this script, but it will pause after printing or looking for links for 60 seconds, and then it will repeat, wait 60 seconds, and then repeat. But I am going to actually show you guys right now how to send this to Discord. Under the af.write statement, uh, we will say data equals and um, say username equal to uh, Nike monitor, and we will say the content equal to. Uh, we'll just say the URL and then what we'll do is we'll come down here and say requests.post and we are going to post to our webhook and what are we going to post? We're going to post the data. So data equals data. We need to create a uh, webhook that so will say webhook equals and then grab your webhook. I'm just going to be grabbing a test one. All right, there we go. Posted my webhook in there. Um, and so now we should be able to delete everything here. Save it. Save this. And uh, what's the error it's throwing? Line 23. Oh, we need a comma here. And we misspelled request. 
All right, there we are. As you can see, it's sent it here. It just sends the link and then it uh, just gives a little preview. So you could then uh, format this so that it's actually uh, pretty looking, but you get the idea. It, um, as you can see, I was working on one up here. But as you can see, um, I mean, it sends the link to uh, your Discord, so you'll be notified on your phone or whatever um, that a new shoe is available. So it's it's definitely so in part two. We will go over how to use proxies because you will get banned, and you definitely don't want to run this for very long off of your own IP. Otherwise, you'll get banned. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can join our Discord. Um, we currently are monitoring Supreme, uh, Palace, Nike, and we're going to start monitoring uh, the Kith Monday program. But uh, not all monitors are currently up and running all the time. Uh, just having some difficulties as well as uh, reformatting some of the uh, Discord posts. So you can go ahead and join down below. I'll leave an invite down below. It'd be great if you join. But that's a basic Nike monitor. And so be sure to look out for part two soon.